Cyclone Mocha has intensified into a Category 1 in a Tropical Cyclone and it's quickly gaining strength, possibly re uh, gaining major Cyclone status, possibly by tomorrow or later today in the next hours. Right now it's positioned at 13.8 degrees north, 88.3 degrees east and as you can see in the satellite imagery it's developing an eye right now so of course there's a clear sign of rapid intensification currently and well mocha has sustained winds based on our analysis winds of 90 miles per hour with a pressure of 971 millibars and it's moving to the north at 7 miles per hour currently latest at 12:30 hours on myanmar that's 11.30 hours on in India, which is 6 hours UTC on May the 12th. And about its wind field, those wind fields are tropical storm force winds extending from its center and 90 nautical miles from the extending from the northwestern quadrant, 85 nautical miles of the northeastern quadrant, 170 nautical miles of the southeastern quadrant, practically the double of the uh, northeastern quadrant and 135 nautical miles of the southwestern quadrant so clearly the southern part of the system is the strongest one since it's battling with some wind shear although it's not that high and about the distance and uh, of many locations it's 520 kilometers west northwest of andaman and nicobar islands 870 kilometers to the east of Chennai in India, 900 kilometers to the southwest of Sidway, that's in Myanmar, 970 uh, kilometers southwest of Cox's Bazar in Bangladesh, and 1050 kilometers to the south southwest of Chateaugrand as well in Bangladesh. There's also a storm surge guidance for North Myanmar and adjoining Southeast Bangladesh coasts. That's an issue. Um, uh, well, that's a <laughs> that's an advisory issued by the Indian Meteorological uh, Department. And well, uh, based on different agencies, we believe for, in four thirteen that it's a stronger system with ninety miles per hour sustained winds the joint typhoon warning center and the indian meteorological department are well are sticking with a little weaker system still a category one cyclone the joint typhoon warning center saying it's an 80 miles per hour while the indian meteorological department says that it's a 75 uh, miles per hour storm and about the future of the system it's expected to make a northeastern shift uh, that's going to occur in the next hours and moving directly over the western the northwestern part of Myanmar almost in the border of of Bangladesh with of course much stronger winds expected to intensify into a category 4 tropical cyclone 120 knots that's 140 miles per hour possibly by May the 14th on zero hour Zulu which is around 6 and 30 hours local time in Myanmar which is in the morning uh, in the morning hours and then making landfall possibly uh, with that intensity or maybe much weaker is not clear yet because well the sea surface temperatures are extremely warm right now 31 or even 32 degrees Celsius completely favorable for further and rapid intensification as we seen on the satellite imagery earlier before and about well the expected uh, wind rate uh, radio or ratio or ready or whatever is pronounced <laughs> I'm sorry uh, it's expected to be quite uh, broad well, at least with tropical storm force winds and quite compact with the cyclonic uh, category one or higher winds 114 to 135 knots possibly in the final stages of the cyclone before making landfall and rapidly weakening as soon as makes landfall nearby the Bangladesh and Myanmar uh, border. But the rainfall is the main issue right there because it's expected to uh, maybe to, to see like between 8 to 16 inches of rain which is 
around 300 and 400 mil, uh, millimeters of rain which is a high amount of rain also the storm surge is another issue and of course the coastal lines the coastal parts of Myanmar and Bangladesh should monitor this system really closely and about the wind speeds well the models are suggesting that it's going to be at least a category 3 major uh, cyclone category 3 or higher possibly category 4 but at least it's expected to reach category 3 that's going to occur possibly by the May 13 or 14 much likely in the May 14th picking uh, on that day before making landfall practically and weakening quite fast and dissipating practically 24 hours or even less after its landfall and about the wind shear it's expected to remain quite marginal not that strong enough to weaken the system although we can see that the southern part of the system it's the strongest one and the northern part are quite uh, much weaker that's that's because the wind shear is more present on, on those locations although it's uh, although those wind uh, wind shear levels are not uh, strong enough to weaken the system it's intensifying really quickly right now the track forecast is practically the same with the different models as we said uh, before the sea surface temperatures are practically really warm 31 32 celsius and the humidity dry air is going to possibly uh, prevent the system to intensify uh, even more quickly uh, than it's expected due to the those humidity lowering humidity levels and the wind shear but the 32 degrees celsius in the bank in the bay of bengal absolutely uh, well it makes everything you know with the intensification rate and those are the different floaters we have in 413's uh, website with satellite imagery of mocha developing a clear ah it's clearing in is clearing out right now so check them out on our website that's www.force13.com that's all for now and see you in the next update and also we will be will be live tomorrow in the next hour so please check them out as well